Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. I am so stoked that you're here this week because I have what I think is a really great concept for a project. So in normal, less coronavirus-y times, I really love to travel and I am so lucky to have this awesome group of friends who loves to go on trips with me. Back in 2016, we went on this awesome trip to Iceland and I've been reflecting on that trip a lot lately. Uh, in part because with that same group of friends, we're about to embark on the Icewind Dale campaign. So just in case you're not familiar, Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden is a new Dungeons and Dragons campaign that is based in a frozen wasteland with yetis and glaciers and scary cold stuff. So I thought, it would be really cool to combine my memories of Iceland with some of these Dungeons and Dragons concepts and make an awesome diorama. But wait, not just any diorama. I wanted to make a book nook because lately all my favorite creators on YouTube have been making some super cool book nooks. And I also just think that it would look so cute in my house. So I'm gonna roll right into this project and start by assembling the box or the little nook that I'm gonna keep all the components in. I'm so excited for this and I think I think it's just gonna be a great way to display some of my memories with my friends and get stoked for this campaign. All right, let's get after it. So the box is assembled and hopefully cardboard is going to be a strong enough material to hold this diorama together. I probably could have used something else, but I like recycling and sometimes just what you have on hand can be the best option. We'll see how it shakes out for me. But in the meantime, I just wanted to share a little bit more about my Iceland adventure with you all. So the reason I think the Iceland adventure is so perfect for Icewind Dale is Iceland is also a really harsh place. Like if you've never been there, the weather there is just incredible and all over the place. And the winds and the snow are so intense. The first night that my friends and I were there, we tried to go backpacking. And um, let me just show you a little clip of the crazy winds that we encountered. So I'm going to use this kind of the sphere of the elements and try to translate that into the diorama. In addition to those crazy winds, we also saw a lot of these weird bubbling, they're not geysers, I think they call them mud pots. They're like bubbling little puddles. In my mind for this campaign, the Icewind Dale world looks a lot like Iceland. So if there's any Icelandic friends watching. Hopefully you understand my respect and fear of your awesome land. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call it for the day and then pick it up tomorrow with some of the more like nitty gritty of the project. It is a new day, but it is the same outfit because I never leave my house. I was hoping to get rolling with painting in the snowy hills today, but the air dry clay is still kind of wet. 
So we're gonna roll into painting the walls and the plan here is to have like a really nice Aurora Borealis situation along the back. And then we're gonna poke little holes and put some little lights through. So that will be really rad. I was gonna put the lights on the top, but I think it'll make more sense coming from the back. And the other thing I wanna do is break some glass to try to make the glass look like ice. My friend Conjured Craft, who lives in New Zealand, which is maybe not a real place, just made an awesome video not too long ago about using glass to create terrain. It's really awesome. If you've never looked at the Conjured Craft channel, here it is. Go check it out. I'll link below. It's one of my favorite channels I've found recently. So I'm going to try to steal that technique and try not to cut myself to pieces. And I'm just really stoked. I love using like trash, recycled stuff, and turning it into treasure. So it's really exciting to bring all these pieces together into one little piece of art, one story. Um, all right, we still have a lot to do on this project, so I need to stop talking and start working. <laughs> All right, this is really stupid and you definitely shouldn't do this at home. Conjured Craft uses sea glass, but I do not live near any ocean, so I am going to break my own glass. Trying to be as safe as possible. I don't have safety glasses, so I'm wearing my blue light glasses that I wear for work. I think it's really funny that this bag says fragile, don't crush. So I've got the wine bottle in two bags. And I'm going to try to crush it a little bit with this homemade mallet. You probably can't even do this at home because you probably don't even have a homemade mallet. Okay, that idea was actually super duper stupid. And even though I didn't crush the ice too much, it's still like really small and there's a ton of little tiny pieces in there. So it's pretty unusable. I do have this one old piece of glass I found in my yard and I can dig around. There's like some parts of my yard that I always find old glass. So maybe I can find some more pieces, but the glass I just made, just a stupid idea. Don't do that. I probably shouldn't even be including that in this video. And I'm just gonna throw that broken glass away. Ah, it seemed like a good idea at the time. And sometimes you don't know until you try. So there's that. I think I found some that's gonna work. And don't worry, this glass isn't all over my yard. It's just like a weird corner of my yard. Like, you know how some people joke that their houses were built on like haunted burial grounds and stuff? My house, I think, was just built on a dump. Oh, look, it's me and I'm still outside. So actually, a lot of time has passed working on this project and it just hasn't gone according to plan. I thought this book nook would be a pretty simple project and it could be. I could certainly stop where it's at right now. It looks super cute. It kind of has that nice little science fair elementary school vibe to it. But my vision for this was bigger and better. So with kind of all the delays I've encountered, I've decided that it's worth it for me to make this into a two part video. Sorry about that, but I can assure you it will be worth the weight. Also, I cut my little thumb on, you guessed it, all that stupid broken glass. So that slowed me down a little bit. I really want to paint the inside of this box to be just totally epic. And uh, I also have plans to sculpt little eyeballs coming out of the hot pot. So I just don't want to sacrifice not doing those things in order to get this video done. <laughs> so thank you for watching and a huge thank you to my patrons who helped to make these videos possible for me. I hope you enjoyed it and stick around for part two of this video. I promise it will be worth the wait. Bye. Oh, P.S. If you are around and wanting to watch more Raquel content the day after Thanksgiving, I'll be doing my first live stream with my patrons. Hope to see you there.